Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine, fall edition. This is just the makeup that I wear on an everyday basis during the fall. So to get started, I'm going to prime my lids using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is going to ensure that my eyeshadow stays in place all day. Next, I'm moving on to my eyebrows. For this, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. Like always, I'm just going to fill them in as naturally as possible. The reason I don't just use a pencil is because I have terrible eyebrows and they just need a lot more um, to fill in and that's why I just use the Dip Brow Pomade. So I'm just filling them in as naturally as possible. Pomade basically draws an outline for my brows and then I fill them in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is also on the color chocolate. I just use this to make sure that my brows are filled to their full potential I guess and then I use the spoolie on the other side just to make it look a little more natural and that's pretty much it for eyebrows. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. I find this to be the most perfect color for an eyeshadow base. It's very neutral and it just kind of hides all the redness or the veins you may have on your lids and it also ensures your shadow will stay all day. My all over lid color is going to be the color Naked Lunch by MAC. This is the most perfect color for everyday use. Now everyone's heard me talk about this next color. This is MAC Soft Brown and it's the most perfect transition color you can get. So I'm just taking this on a paper blending brush and blending it really, really well in my crease and a little bit above my crease. It's the most perfect transition color. It's very neutral and it helps just bring out and blend all the other colors together too. to take your time when blending. If you think you've blended enough, you should probably blend even more. Blending is like the most important step when applying eyeshadow. and this is going to go in my crease just under the transition shade which is soft brown. I'm taking this on a MAC 217 blending brush and I'm just blending it really really well. I don't want it to be too dark and again I just want just a little bit of definition so I'm blending it really well. I'm just taking that same blending brush that I used before, the big fluffing one, and I'm just blending all the colors together with no additional products, just making sure everything is nice and blended with no harsh lines. My everyday eye pencil is normally Max Coffee. This is a brown eye pencil. It's pretty dark, so I wouldn't consider it to be too light. And I just really like the color because it's not too black. I just think black for everyday use is a little too much. I don't normally do a wing on an everyday basis. Sometimes I do, but for this look, I'm not going to. Um, but I do take the eye pencil from inner corner to outer corner of my lash line, making a you know not so thin, not so thick line, and then smudging it with a brush. I am taking all of the colors that I used for eyeshadow and bringing them along my lower lash line starting with espresso on the outer part then naked lunch on the inner part and soft brown in the middle blending them all together very well. I've been loving this hourglass mineral veil primer to prime my face on an everyday basis I just take a few dots of this and blend it with my fingers and then I've been absolutely loving my Too Faced primed and poreless primer as well and I just put that on top on the places where my pores are extremely huge like my cheek, my nose, a bit of my forehead and my chin. 
My foundation of choice lately has been the Revlon Colorstay. I absolutely love this foundation. It's super hydrating, super blendable, and it gives great coverage and it just lasts all day. I absolutely love this foundation and I recommend it if you're on a budget. It is drugstore price for really great quality. Concealer. This is an NW15. I use this as a highlighter and a concealer to hide my under eye circles as well. So I just take it in sort of a V shape under my eye and blend it with a tapered Kabuki blending brush. Hey, 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 mister, that my concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever setting powder and I'm just taking a small setting brush and tapping that under my eyes. And to set the rest of my face makeup, I will be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color medium. Definitely pat this on, don't rub it in, otherwise you will take the product off. That is one tip that I've learned over the years. Bronzer, I will be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells amazing and it's just really awesome. I will be taking this along the places that need a little bit more color. I'm really pale. I know, so I'm taking this across my cheekbones, my forehead, and my neck a little bit. So I'm just blending this in with the bronzer and I just think it creates this really, really awesome fall look. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques big fluffy brush, blush brush and blend all that together to make sure there's no harsh lines. My absolute favorite mascara at the moment has been the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It gives my eyelashes such beautiful dimension and length and color and awesomeness. I just love this mascara. I can't recommend it enough. It has to do with the applicator, I promise. But anyway, I just take a few coats of this. I like my mascara to, my, lash, my lashes to be really, really long and thick, even though they are already normally, but that's just the way I like them on an everyday basis. My lipstick of choice this fall has been the MAC Lipstick in Cosmo. I love this lipstick because it's not so much a nude and it's perfect for every day. The last step in my makeup process is spraying a bit of Max Fix Plus. This is an awesome setting spray. It helps your makeup last all day. So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you replicate it as well. I know it's a little bit more makeup than most people would wear on a daily basis but I really really think that it's natural and it's, I've been enjoying wearing this makeup for the past couple of months. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!